News for a local family owned company. Their cookies are now being sold in Sam's Clubs around the country. They've come a long way in a few years, and when you taste their cookies and you hear their story, I think you'll see why. Meet Elaine Cerno and her boys in our Moms of Genius report. When you build a company from the ground up, you do it all. You guys all wear many hats, don't you? We sure do. Yeah. Hair nuts. <laughs> You could say Elaine or Mom is Chief Cookie Officer. Max is often helping with their hardworking employees. I'm the fastest packer here. And Sam, he's also the money guy for Cooper Street Cookies. I know this segment is Mom's a genius, but I have to say that my two boys are the geniuses. <laughs> Maybe, and so was Grandma. It's a hundred year old recipe that was my grandmother's, wow. and everybody wanted to taste it. And Sam and Max and I said, you know what, let's try and make this a business. The cookies are a cross between a cookie and a biscotti. They come in eight varieties now, including cinnamon chocolate chip, white chocolate, Michigan cherry, and orange cranberry. And they're made with all natural ingredients. Not only is it taste delicious, but it's nut free, which schools love us. It's dairy free. It's very low in calories. They started with in store demos. They knew if people tasted the cookies, they'd buy them. They were picked up by some grocery stores, then came Whole Foods and Kroger, and now Sam's Club. And here we are four years later, and now we're going nationwide. They credit their success to another ingredient the heart that goes into making these cookies. From the beginning, their employees, special needs adults from JVS, a nonprofit that provides people with disabilities an opportunity to work. And once we saw the passion, the energy, and how much they cared about the, the work product, you know, we brought in more and more, and as we've grown over the years, we've been able to hire more and more people. It's just such a great feeling to be able to give back to the community. Um, I, I can't think of anything more rewarding. There is one bittersweet part to this company's success. Elaine's husband, Jeffrey, the boy's father, isn't here with them. He was killed a year and a half ago in Hawaii, hit by a car while riding his bike. He had been their biggest cheerleader. Through all of the times of, you know, cranberries flying in the air and, you know, ovens burning cookies, it was, it, it really was a lot of work. And my father had always said, I know it's going to be a success. He's their inspiration now, building a company that is changing lives and delighting others, one cookie at a time. I know he's there with us, and we are blessed. <laughs> they have also started a nonprofit called Cooper Street Cookies, or Cooper Street Kids, I should say. You can read about it on the back of the package. It provides the cookies to kids in local children's hospitals. Stephen's busy over here eating oh, some of these cookies. Pardon. You know, they made, this is really neat, they made this packaging specifically for the Sam's Club deal that they got across the country. This is how That's you'll huge. find it in other grocery stores. It really is huge. They're yeah. national now, and they just do so much good work. Um, their daughter works on the social mm -hmm. media for the company, so truly a family affair and a great success. You know, great I, I like biscottis, but sometimes they're a little hard. They're hard, and, right. And thick, and these things are a little bit lighter and crunchier. It's like a cookie. Cross between a cookie and a biscotti. There you go. Good you stuff. Well done. Right.